Hi everyone, sorry I was able, unable to make it to class. Um, I guess I must have got salmonella poisoning or something. Um, but I wanted to do my presentation, so here it goes. Um, my foodborne illness that I uh, am doing is Anasakis simplex, also known as the herring worm. Uh, it's found in seafoods such as uh, Pacific salmon, uh, cod, monkfish, flounder, herring, haddock and fluke um, it's actually derived from whales and dolphin um, feces they actually grow inside of the actual skin of whales and dolphins um, what happens next is the dolphins and the whales secrete their feces which um, before that enables the actual anasuchus to fertilize within the host um, as it secretes its feces it then transfers into the seawater which enables it to become like an embryo and once it becomes an embryo crustaceans and invertebrates end up eating them and ingesting them enabling the um, enabling pretty much a cycle of predator and prey to occur which is the the cycle of which um, invertebrates will end up getting eaten and such and such until it becomes a part of a new fish. Um, there have been a few cases in the U.S. Um, more found in Japan due to its uh, wide disbursement of fish um, to other cities, to other places, as well as you know in this uh, in the country itself. Uh, the U.S. has shown cases due to um, a lot more sushi and sashimi um, popularity and due to improper sea um, prep, uh, seafood preparation and cleansing um, many of this is found uh, a lot of the actual worm is found in humans when digested or when found in the throat initiates uh, an infection um, many cases you'll see that they're able to cough up the worm uh, if not you'll see that in the back of the throat they'll either try to burrow themselves to get out and in doing so causes um, severe problems in the throat and mouth sometimes into the nose and nasal cavity if it is ingested into the stomach can cause severe digestive tract issues um, and as it progresses into the small intestine and into the stomach uh, tries to burrow its way into pretty much to get out of the stomach itself and um, ends up in the body uh, to a lot of people who end up with this end up with serious uh, bowel problems something very similar to appendicitis just a lot more nausea uh, in addition to that uh, once the worm actually penetrates the intestine and the intestinal wall, it enables the. But it just becomes very difficult to get out. Um, a lot of times, the procedures are very stringent to get them out. Um, it is recommended that if it, symptoms like this occur, that it's uh, you see a physician or a doctor immediately. Um, Avoiding any of these issues would be to just make sure and verify that your food is properly cooked or um, your food has been properly taken care of. If you see any signs of what looks like ring or like a ringworm, um, that is a sign of the herring worm or the parasite that is actually causing the flesh of, of that uh, specific fish or seafood you're eating to be contaminated in a sense. Um, all in all, verification and, and making sure everything is good on your food before you eating it can help alleviate any issues with it. Since there are so limited cases and the proper handling is mainly contributed to, you know, at the docks is when they're bringing them in. Um, also when they ship them out and, and the food handlers actually prepare themselves appropriately uh, for wash proper washing and proper cleansing 
those are already certain steps to avoid uh, human contact with the infection. That's all I got. Uh, any questions?